Hey guys, it's Misty Lovely coming at you with a video. And I wanted to come at you guys um, about something that happened earlier this week. I'm probably going to post this with my week 58 post-up update. But um, I hope you guys will give me a minute because I'm going to be transparent. I, I'm not a person that um, can just say a few words and it be done for me. I'm a very, I can be long-winded. I can go around in circles telling a story. I give an introduction as I do now before telling the story. But anyway, what really inspired me to do this video today is I saw a video and it was just talking about how important it is to be honest about this journey and every endeavor and not just this journey, but about being here on YouTube, you know, and I think that's what some of you guys appreciate about me is my transparency. So I hope you guys will appreciate it again today. Um, I already told my group about this, so I'm just telling you guys now. And I'm sorry to those guys who feel like you're starting, you know, you're tired of hearing it if I've mentioned it, if you've seen the video or whatever. But, you know, this is about me and my journey first, right? So anyway, um, I'll tell you guys what happened. I'll start from the beginning. Um, I had a comment posted on one of my videos. And I've just, like I said in my Let's Talk video, I've just been removing ignorant stuff and just bypassing it. But this really, this video, this comment really hit the core of me. Now, before I get into this, understand, because I wanted you guys to understand the seriousness of why I react the way that I do because of the things I've had to endure here. Um, I've had people make false profiles just to um, leave comments and be nasty to me. I've had people threaten my life. And, you know, we all see that. And a lot of people just look over it. And a lot of people will heard about it and not, and not ever come and tell you guys about it. That ain't she. That ain't her right here. Um, um, but that also doesn't mean that uh, I'm going to allow people to win or get to me on that level to where I'm like, you know what, forget it. But that's actually um, what I want to talk to you guys about. Um, this comment basically accused me of only sharing with you guys my workouts and the foods that I eat, but not sharing with you guys the mental change. Um, the mental changes this, this takes to make a permanent, the mental changes that are required to make a permanent change. I was really offended by this. I was like, how stupid are you? Lord, forgive me. And Lord, forgive me, y'all. But I, This is exactly what I thought. How stupid are you? And how ignorant of you to say such a thing when obviously you must don't know my journey. It's apparent. And um, I was just like, the fact that I wake up every day and make the conscious decision and choice to put what I put in my mouth, that is a mental change. That is a mental choice that I made. The fact that if I want, like for example, I wanted an oatmeal cookie last night. If I want an oatmeal cookie, instead of getting them oatmeal cookies, I made them here at my house. 99 gram, 98 grams of pro, uh, calories, 98 calories, three grams of protein. And I do post all this information, all this, all these good little things up in the, uh, up in my group. And I may be making some tutorials for y'all in a little bit. But from what I'm hearing, my meals are pretty scrumdilly-umptious looking. But anyway. I'm like, this person has a lot of nerve. I'm like, you don't know me from Adam. You don't know me. And, but it really did, it, it wounded me. I won't lie. You know, I have feelings too. And understand, this has been a year ongoing, the things that have been thrown at me. But you know what? They only win, not the person, but the, the comments and, and, the, and the stab. They only win if we give in. And I was like, you know, maybe I should just start doing monthly updates. And I actually notated that in my last video. Don't know if many of you saw it because I mean, a lot of y'all don't watch, a lot of y'all don't read descriptions. But, um, and I do notate a lot of my, um, in my videos, you guys, for those of you who watch via, uh, uh, mobile. I know like 30% of y'all watch on mobile. I just happened to look at the analytics. But anyway, um, yeah, it really hurt me. And I was just tired. I'm like, you know what? Because I never, it's like I feel like I never really got to be um, really, really refueled or like refreshed because I never really took a break. I never really takes a break at all here. And um, I think I took one, but it was, ooh, the reason, I don't know what the reason for it was for. I don't know. But anyway, I don't want to sit here and have y'all waiting. But I just had to come on because after all is said and done, I came across this quote and it said, do not let opposition frustrate your purpose. And, you know, a lot of people say, I've even had people say this, and this to me, this is an ignorant thing because 
um, people forget, I don't care if I'm on the other side of this camera. I didn't sign up for ignorance. I didn't sign up to be attacked. And some people had the nerve to say, you need to expect that. Um, that's going to happen. That's a dumb comment to make, you know, because you're not in that person's shoes. I'm sorry. I'm calling it like I see it. Um, but at the end of the day, I cannot let opposition of frustrate my purpose. You know, my purpose is to get to where I'm going to get to the other side and in me being here prayerfully and hopefully aid somebody else on their journey by me by me doing the workouts that I do, you know, let somebody know that's my size. You know what I'm saying? This is coming from a person who is 378 pounds to now 268 that if I can get my big butt moving, whether it was just doing 30 minutes walking, so can you. You know what I'm saying? So um, and then and then working my way up to what I do now. Y'all see what I do. Y'all see what I do. And and it's not easy, but only determination and perseverance equal results. That's the only thing that's getting me where I gotta go. So I got time for nothing else. You know what I'm saying? And you know, but I, I I'm blessed. I don't look at this as weakness. I look at it as as being blessed with the heart to be able to be hurt. Because the hurt is going to help me understand somebody else and be able to be a testimony to them. So you know what? I'll take that because I know that in the future I'm going to be able to help somebody else. And I'm going to send a personal shout out and a personal thanks um, to my own, my, my family, my WLS, WL Accountability Fam, um, the group. And I also want to send a shout out to my, um, I consider her my play daughter. Uh, she's not a YouTuber, but... Um, she just started watching me and she has some things to say, as well as Diva Slim Down. I just want to thank you very much. Um, it's so important, you know, those of us who are positive, that we remain that way. And, you know, the only way to do it is, 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 is us staying true to ourselves, you know what I'm saying? I've always been Miss T. Lovely and, you know, according to you guys, I live up to my name and I want to remain that way. You know, um, but I always want to remain honest. I want this forum and this platform to stay the way that I um, first came about it and was happy to be here and wanted to record every doggone thing that I saw. <laughs> I wanted to stay that way. So, um, sorry if I'm sounding repetitive, but you know what I'm saying? This is what this journey is about. This is what my channel is about. Keeping it 100%. As a matter of fact, no, 1,000. So anyway, I love y'all. Talk to y'all later.